Hello, everybody. Welcome to this, to another YouTube video. As you can tell, um, I have no um, camera, you know, front-facing camera on this phone. But I am showing a picture from a book, a small little pocket book. And it's the uh, the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution of the United States. A lot of people don't understand what um, Declaration of Independence. A declaration is a strong statement. So, a Declaration of Independence is a strong statement saying that we are, we are independent. Anyways, I want to talk about Fox and NPR. And I'm putting Fox and NPR together because while they both have good programming on there, they do the American public an injustice. So in that respect, both of those, um, both of those, um, talk radio, both of those talk radios are um, part of the reason why this country is as it is. Fox, you know, it's Republican uh, talk radio, and NPR is Democrat talk radio. And they're supposed to inform the public. And they both do inform the public. Um, you know, you pretty much got to watch both to kind of uh, understand what's really going on in this country because neither of them will tell you. You know, they will <clears throat> tell the news from their perspective. One meaning conservative perspective, and one meaning the liberal perspective. But there is something that neither of them do. And that is inform us, inform us of the bills that are, um, the, the bills that are going across in Congress. Now, some people say, well, that's what C stands for. But how many of you <clears throat> have watched C SPAN lately? <clears throat> how many of you even have cable? Now, how many of you have radios and listen to the radio more than the television? You know, when you're in the car going to work, <clears throat> I like listening to music, but every once in a while I do like listening to talk radio, both types, Fox and NPR. But one, but you know, both Fox and NPR, they don't tell you on what bills are going through Congress. They don't report on what is going on in Congress. The only thing that we know what's going on in Congress is when an election cycle is upon us, and then we hear all these one-liners from both sides. 
and they play a he said, she said game. And that just wastes a lot of time, a lot of effort, and a lot of money. <clears throat> Even though, you know, in a in a political season when uh, people are being, uh, uh, when people are running for a particular office, they definitely do spend a lot of money as far as advertising is concerned. So it brings money into a certain area. So I mean that's good. But these uh, one-liners that both <clears throat> both sides do, both Republicans and Democrats, they purposely try and fight each other. You know, for all we know, they're probably friends with each other when they're not. Um, you know, like uh, Jesse Ventura once said, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, you know, on air in the public, they're against each other, but in private, they're friends. But they don't, neither of them do us justice. You know, I mean, they do talk about stories that interest them. And we do need those stories, but we also need a resource that where we can see what's actually going on, on in Congress 24-7. Now, it would be nice if C-SPAN would actually put out a radio show. And um, play this radio show in, you know, um, public markets. You know, have a uh, couple stations in the Northeast, in the Midwest, and the in Tornado Alley, the central part of the country, California, Washington, all these places, Florida, Texas, if they could have stations throughout this country, because they're recording everything anyways for TV. So it's just that much easier to just repackage it and put it out on the radio on the radio where the average person who's going about their day, you know, working or doing whatever, traveling, they can turn on the radio and they can actually listen to what's going on in Congress. That's what we need. We don't need um, a media that keeps us separate from Congress. We need a media that is on the floor of Congress, that we can hear the arguments that are going on, and that we can hear and know what bills are um, trying to be passed, and which ones are passed, and who are passing them, and what they attach to them. I think if we did this, you know, we, the country, it would honor this little document that we all acknowledge as common law. Our Declaration of Independence and our Constitution of the United States. A government by the people and for the people. So if Fox and NPR want to get better, 
why not have like people down on the floor of Congress reporting what's actually going on in Congress on the radio anyways that is my my view on this and one of the things that can make the country a better place thank you for listening stay creative in the magic of life and may the force be with you all. Thank you.